Well, looks like it's just the two of us today. Let's uh, clear the slate a little bit. Let's do some Korra. What do you think? How are you feeling, by the way? Doing good? Nothing gets you down, huh? Chapter 10, A New Spiritual Age. They won't have their bending in there. They'll be defenseless. <clears throat> it's not like bending did that much anyway. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. But I've never had bending. Of course you aren't, because you have your... <laughs> Positive help, attitude. Help. There you go. Spirits are so much more beautiful in their own world than they are at home. Janora, be careful. Hold on. Janora's just right at home already. Who do you think you are stomping through here like that? I'm the Avatar. The Avatar? I don't trust her. Get out of our world. We don't need you. You don't belong here. Get away from me. Ugh. Oops. Did you guys see that? She's trying to she bend us. She's trying to bend us. Cora, stay calm. Your energy is upsetting them. Whoa. That looks so cool. Janora! I'm not worried about Janora at all. Those are awesome. Wow. Janora! Cora really got thrown into the deep end here. Oh. Janora's Cora! fine. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? She's just hanging out in the fields. It's your friend. Furry foot? It's so good to see you again. He's a lot bigger here. A lot more huggable. You're so big here. Janora's never gonna want to go home. She just lives here now in the spirit world. Wait. I've read about this place. Grandpa N came here. It's Wan Shi Tong Spirit Library. Wow. Ah, get away! I'm sorry I spotted you. You two look lost. <gasps> is that Iro? Help you. What is he doing here? I was good friends with Avatar Ang. What is going on? Iroh. Hello, Cora. Is this real? I'm glad you came to visit us in the spirit world, Cora. I don't want to let my guard down. I'm worried this is a trick. This is an evil spirit. How can you marry each other? Aren't you... Complete opposites? I know! I tried to fight it, but she really grew on me. They got Ray Romano for this? That's amazing. Help yourself to some tea and cakes. It is Iro. <laughs> this part of the spirit world isn't so scary. This part of the spirit world is better than the real world because Iroh's here. It was yours long, long That's ago. the teapot that Rava went in. You used it to carry the light spirit Rava mm -hmm. around until the two of you became one. That is like the perfect item for Iroh to have. <laughs> the ultimate teapot. It's my God favorite pot. thing I found here. I'll bet. You know, when you make tea in it, you can still taste a little light in every cup. That's some good God tea. How did Iroh get here, though? Is he just so awesome the spirit world drafted him? I could just stay in here forever, reading. There he is, my boy, Wan Shi Tong. The last human who said that is still here. Oh, I thought he was going to be reading. He did not fare very well. Humans are no longer allowed in my library. So recently you guys helped me out a lot with understanding something about Wan Shitong. Because the first time I watched it, his name is Wan Shitong because he knows 10,000 things, right? Wan is 10,000. I remember thinking after I did that episode, like 10,000 things is not a lot. We all probably know 10,000 words, you know? But it's been pointed out to me that in Chinese, Wan or 10,000 is also used to mean uh, something like infinite, which is pretty cool. You guys are so full of like great facts always. Get out. I see he hasn't changed very much. What is the little girl going to teach Wan Chi Tong? He who knows 10,000 things. Huh. You know 10,000 things we haven't learned not to judge a book by its cover? Well, since you've been down in the spirit world, the humans have invented radio. Yes, I am well aware of the radio. But do you know how it works? Of course I do. There is a box. No, you don't. And inside the box there is a tiny man who sings and plays musical instruments. Oh, he does know. Okay. When we speak, our voices produce sound waves. Radio takes those sound waves and converts them into electromagnetic energy. I did not know that. I did Thanks, not Nora. know this. <laughs> Neither did I. Apparently, I have been fed some misinformation about the existence of tiny men in boxes. Still, I'm not interested in that human garbage. You came with the Avatar, hmm? Well, why didn't you say so? That's not going to help your case. Fine. 
You may look around, oh. but don't break anything. I'll know. And don't steal anything this time either. Iro, Wanshi Tong, this is just hitting all the right buttons so far. He's so Come beautiful. On, Martha, we gotta hurry. What's wrong? We came here with my friend, but I lost her, and now I'm all alone. Aww. <laughs> It's cute. Janora's gone and I need to find her. She's lost and we need to go home. I don't like the spirit world. I don't want to be here anymore. Laura, please stop. The spirits are too sensitive. In the spirit world, your emotions become your reality. Especially true in real life too. Avatar. You must try to stay positive. There. Even in the material world, you will find that if you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see. Sometimes the best way to solve your own problems is to help someone else. This little fellow needs to go home as well. Iroh does it again. He always knows what you need. I like what Iroh said about you'll find what you're looking for. If you're looking for bad things to think about, you'll find them. And if you're feeling good and you're looking for good things to think about, you'll find them. They're there. It's all there. Sometimes I think we underestimate the power of our emotions on reality. And I don't mean that in some kind of metaphysical way. What I mean is we place a lot of faith in our ability to understand and predict the world. Maybe too much faith. But when we think about the future or circumstances surrounding our lives, a lot of what we're doing is actually projecting and hypothesizing. We take these ideas and we give them a little bit too much weight. Like they're not really what's happening it's just what we think will happen and i think that's where the emotion comes in if you're in a really bad state the circumstances you envision are going to match that bad state and it's easy to take that as like the reality of things when actually most things we don't actually know we don't really know how things are going to turn out with any degree of certainty we don't even really understand ourselves that well the emotions are just that they're just feelings and i think like just being okay with that and understanding that they're transient and that they pass and that they're not really reflective of the world necessarily i mean they may be but they may not be i think keeping that healthy separation just allows things to flow more easily and it doesn't allow you to like spiral downwards in a panic it's rarely as bleak as it looks when we're in our worst state seeing that for what it is and recognizing that i think allows you to actually like dig through look for the good things like ira was saying the tree of time that's where avatar one imprisoned batu mm -hmm. the elders believed that as long as the portals are closed during the harmonic convergence batu will remain imprisoned and the battle between good and evil will not be fought again Oh, it is good and evil. That weakens my argument about chaos and order. It does feel like they're a little bit confused. They're sort of in between here. But if both portals are open, spirit energy is amplified greatly. During the harmonic convergence, this energy will be great enough to allow Vatu to break free from his bonds. The I material see. world will again risk being consumed by darkness. <gasps> we have to warn Korra. Leaving so soon. When Wang Chi Tong told me he had a visitor, no, Wang Chi Tong, no. My own eyes. How can you be helping him? Yeah. Unalak has proven to be a true friend to the spirits. <laughs> this is this is Jiao Part Two. This is why you keep getting burned, Wang Chi Tong. You have terrible, terrible radar for people. Maybe the knowing ten thousand things thing is a joke. For all his knowledge, he's a terrible judge of character. Why would you want to help Vatu escape? He'll destroy everything. Don't believe everything you read. Okay, so giving them the benefit of the doubt, maybe it was just the book that called them good and evil. Yeah, it's just a book. The books can be wrong. That's correct. I agree with Unalak. <gasps> Traitors Are everywhere. It's hard to know who to trust these days in the spirit world. You have light and peace inside of you. If you let it out, you can change the world around you. Many things that seem threatening in the dark become welcoming when we shine a light on them. Thank you, Iro. It was good to meet you. It's great seeing you too. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. <laughs> They're still terrifying. They both grew up at the same time. How many right. awesome pets is she gonna get? That portal and go find it's not fair. That's where Vatu There's is. Vatu, yeah. Open the portal or lose your friend's soul forever. Stop! I'll do it. Now let you 
Nora go? You Whoa. should have come through the portal. Then you could do this. Oh, I get it. Okay. Because she doesn't have a body, but he does. Who's gonna save her? Oh, the dragon. Okay. I'll see you soon, Brava. Once the harmonic convergence comes, I'll be free from this prison. And then I will have my revenge. Where's Janora? You can't come back without her. Did you manage to close the portal? Was Janora able to help? Close the portal, right. I'm I'm sorry. Where's Janora? Don't Cora! What happened to my little girl? Ah <laughs> poor Tenzin. Ouch. If he wasn't already feeling bad about himself, now he's gonna uh this is like the worst thing for him. Alright, so we have the second portal open. I know he's got a plan. Just waiting to see what it is. Before the video ends, I gotta give a very special shout out to all the people who joined the Goodwin Clan on Patreon. I'm hoping that with this kind of support, pretty soon we can go to five videos on YouTube a week, which is great. Very exciting. On the road to daily uploads. Alright, so shout outs go to Sean Justin Aliali, Michael Nguyen, DJ Cargill, Nils Kaisers, Niels, Jasmine Haddon, Cameron Holloway, Javier Mendez, Calvin Brindley, and Sydney Watkins. Thanks to all of you and everyone who signed up for Patreon and all of you watching for all the love and support. Love you guys always, and I'll see you next time.